Beautiful day all day today, actually, and the sun glistening off the racetrack and 36 race cars. Roman Rusinov from the third row will sweep right around the outside and take the race lead away from Will Owen. One or two um, uh, glimpses down in the pit lane of tortured faces, thinking, are they all going to get safely through? Well, two that didn't uh, are the cool racing car of Alexandre Quani and Phil Hansen, who desperately tried to get out of the way of a spinning cool racing car, but the two made contact, and it would mean a new nose for the number 22 car later on. Uh, during one of its scheduled pit stops. Andrew Bentley muscling his way up the inside of Lorenzo Villier for RLRM Sport would mean a spin for Bentley and the number three United Autosports car. And then whilst leading the race, Roman Rusinov made an uncharacteristic error at the top of the hill as he rejoined he and Will Owen made contact. And then we'd go into a full course yellow because of a frightening looking moment for Rodrigo Sales who overcooked his run into turn five. Before that though, there was a spin for Michael Fassbender in his number 93 Porsche, the sister car at Proton Competition. G-Drive with lots of traffic to deal with, including a wounded Wolfgang Triller in the number four DKR engineering machine. Uh, that would mean that car would spend a fair bit of time in the garage as they repaired the rear bullet. Meanwhile, fighting in the LMP3 ranks continued on. This was the charge to retake the lead for now Mikkel Jensen, who slid his, slid his way up the inside of Will Owen and Will pushed out towards the marbles. After the spin for Rodrigo Sales, there was then this contact between Sales and Sergio Pianazzola, judged to be the Italian's error, and he'd have to come in to uh, serve a stop-go penalty. And then uh, Francois Parodo ended up in the sandpit on the exit of turn 15, ended up way, way wide, and did well not to glance the barrier. There was damage to the rear of the 60 car, the pole-sitting Ferrari, remember, so it had to come in for repairs as more pit stops happened during a, another full course yellow, a, a rather a safety car to clear the debris out of turn 15. A move around the outside to take the race lead in LMP3 for Wayne Boy. That was him jumping ahead of David Drew. The victory going to G-Drive with the Aura 01 for Mikkel Jensen, for Nick de Vries and for Roman Rusinov. It was a victory and a championship win for Tom Gamble, Wayne Boyd and Rob Weldon in the number two LMP3 United Autosports car. And victory, of course, going the way of Proton competition, not only in today's event, but in the championship as a whole as well. After two wins, two second places and a fourth place finish earlier on in the season, they are the champions because they took a win earlier than their major rivals, Kessel Racing. 147 laps completed. First victory of the season for Russian squad G-Drive Racing. Duquesne, surely with the best result of the season there as well, number 30, second. The two United Autosports, Oricas finishing third and fourth, ahead of Panis Racing in the 31 car. High Class Racing, sixth. And then it was Graf, Algarve Pro, Cool Racing and Edex Sport completing the top 10. Only five cars, though, time to be on the lead lap. LMP3 won by United Autosports, a championship title to boot. Real Team Racing were gunning for that title but have to make do with second in the championship and third in the title, sorry, second on the race and third in the championship into Europol competition with their third place today, bag second in LMP3. And in the GTs, it couldn't really have be, been any closer, but 77 gets the judgment, as they did in today's race, finishing ahead of the Kessel Racing Ferrari, but they also get an invitation to next year's Le Mans. Spirit of Race just miss out on a top two finish and the auto invite, but we may still see a Kessel, uh, may still see a Spirit of Race Ferrari on the grid for next year's 24 hours. Fourth in the title race, I make it the Iron Dames in car number 83 after they scored eight points today with a sixth place finish.